is up guys welcome back to the channel hope you're all doing well today uh, in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at Microsoft Flight Simulator now I've been wanting to play this game for a little while uh, and haven't really got got round to doing it but in today's video we're just going to take a you know a quick look uh, do some of the practice tutorials that kind of thing and 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 try to attempt to uh, to take off um, <laughs> but yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get stuck in, shall we? So we have flight training. I think flight training is probably the best way of going about doing it. Um, as to the fact that I know absolutely nothing about this game, uh, it's probably a good idea to get some form of training. So let's have a look at this. Right, basic handling. Okay, we'll jump into that then. Uh, oh, practice getting into the air, safely back down again. Okay, so basic handling, we'll just jump into that one. Uh, let's start with basic controls and cameras, shall we? Do, do, do. Okay. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> I mean, if you've ever seen my bus driving, look out, I'm in a plane now. <laughs> oh, dear. Quick views are immensely useful, letting you glance quickly left to right. bit of a heavy loading screen. Uh, do you know what? I was actually quite surprised on how big this game is in file size. I mean, it got to the point of almost being ridiculous in a way. You know, I was very close to um, to actually just n not doing it at all. Evening, Venom, mate. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Ready to fly. I don't know about that. Welcome to Sedona. I'm Captain Jess Molina, and I'll be your instructor. For this lesson, we're going to start on the ground and focus on some basic concepts. Fundamentals every pilot needs to know before hitting the skies. This is your plane. A classic. The Cessna 152. Take a look around it. In the simulator, anytime you want, you can easily switch to cursor mode. The cursor is handy for interacting with menus and cockpit controls or instruments. As you can see, activating the cursor also displays the toolbar. The toolbar is a quick access menu that allows you to control various aspects of the simulation. Try to find and open the basic controls panel. Straight away. Right, learn open the basic controls panel from the toolbar. But where's the toolbar? Am I am I going am I going blind or what? Yeah, definitely, Venom. Oh, here we go. The basic controls panel is a useful reminder of the button layout for the devices you're currently using. Now, try to find and open the camera panel in the toolbar. The camera panel allows you to access the various views and camera modes of the simulation. Go ahead and close all the panels for now. Right now, we are in the external view mode. Let's switch to cockpit view next. In 
In front of you is the yoke, the primary means of controlling the aircraft. In the simulation, you'll be controlling the aircraft with your peripherals of choice. So let's hide the yoke for now. Some instruments allow multiple interactions, for example, rotating a dial clockwise or counterclockwise. In these cases, you need to lock the cursor onto them in order to interact. For example, take a look at the clock in the middle of the dashboard. Go ahead and lock the cursor on it. Now change the clock time. You can unlock the cursor once you're ready. For now, we're done with the cursor, so go ahead and hide it. All right, as we've seen, when you want to look around you, it's easy to rotate the camera. But you can also move it freely in the cockpit to get a better view of anything you want to see. Even through a window to look outside. Pro tip, once you find a camera position you like, you can save a shortcut to easily get back to that view anytime. Now, reset the camera to its original position. Then try switching to your custom one again. Alright, that covers all the main camera functions available in the simulation. Try to familiarize yourself with them a bit more. Then reset the camera to its original position whenever you're done. Great! I mean, so, so far, it's, it's relatively extensive. Um... Okay, so that that was pretty that was pretty uh pretty quick to be completely honest. Um we'll go back to the training menu and we'll look about taking off and landing. I think that's going to be the uh the most important thing. Let's do taking off. <laughs> oh, this should be interesting. Oh, you was using the controller, was you, Venom? Uh, I didn't think about that, actually. I thought it would have been a little bit easier uh, using a mouse with all the dials and stuff. But, you know, I shall see and give it a look. There's an old saying I like, a mile of road will take you a mile. A mile of runway will take you anywhere. Taking off isn't hard, but there are a few key points to remember. First, we always take off into the wind, which won't be an issue on a calm day like today. Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. Check to the right to see if a vehicle is on the runway, and to the left to make sure no other planes are approaching. Check that the runway is clear.
Everything looks good, no cross traffic. Go ahead and taxi into position. Now slowly taxi onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. Position the plane for takeoff. Not quite ready to go there yet. <laughs> Let's get back in position and try this again. Yeah, I think we should. Now slowly taxi onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. Okay, slightly increase power by holding F3 and align your aircraft on, on the center of the runway by using... Okay. Let's position the plane for takeoff. Let's position the plane for takeoff. Oh my goodness me. These controls are... Now I'm going for... <laughs> Is going on. Not quite ready to go there yet. Let's get back in position and try this again. It would be really nice if Now slowly taxi to onto the runway thing, and align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. Let's position the plane for takeoff. ready to go there yet. <laughs> Let's get back in position and try this again. Oh, this is painful. Now slowly this taxi so onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. Let's position the plane for takeoff. Oh, I was doing so well. The problem is, like, you hold F2. Not quite to ready to go there yet. Let's get back in position so and try this again. Maybe I'm going to. Now fast. slowly taxi onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. Let's position the plane for takeoff. But how do I 
I steer back the other way? That's the that's the question. That is the question. This this game is uh, not. It's it's telling me to do stuff, but it's not actually telling me to like counteract things if it's going wrong. <laughs> now I'm just going round and round in circles. Say num decimal. Let's position the plane for takeoff. ready to go there yet. Let's get back in position and try this again. Right. Now slowly taxi onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. This then stop your plane just time. after the number 21. Definitely not. Uh, it's definitely not easy. If if it just if it just told me how to go left and right, it wouldn't be too bad, you know. Not quite ready to go there yet. Let's get back in position and try this again. Now slowly taxi onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. Position the plane for takeoff. Okay. Well, I'm positioning the plane for takeoff. <laughs> As to whether I'm taking off is a completely different story. Right. Let's position the plane for takeoff. ready to go there yet. Let's get back in position and try this again. Now slowly taxi onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. Position the plane for takeoff. Let's position the plane for takeoff.
Let's position the plane for takeoff. Let's position the plane for takeoff. Let's position the plane for takeoff. Quite ready to go there yet. Let's get back in position and try this again. Now slowly taxi onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. Position the plane for takeoff. Charm. I mean, mm. let's position the plane for maybe. Let's have a look at control options a moment. See what's going on with that. Because I might be able to. Uh, might be able to actually get something going here. Like I say, it's my first time playing it, so... ...an adjustment. Anybody that's really played this <laughs> should know. Description... Mouse... Okay, so let's let's actually have a look a moment. Because if it is done based on access, then take off. It will probably be X and Y, I would imagine. Let's position the plane for takeoff. Just test this out.
anyway, let's uh, let's go back to the main menu a minute because there's probably a training program in there that actually teaches me how to do those things. As frustrating as it is. Right, flight training, there we go. Basic handling. Aircraft essential turn, the yoke, reading basic instruments, a short taste of flight guided by an instructor, learn to use elevators. All right, let's click on that one. It's probably such a basic control setup. Yeah, no worries, Joseph, and cheers, Venom. You know, like I say, probably a little bit of practice before, you know, starting this stream would have probably been beneficial. But hey, we're, we're going through it all together, so it's all good. For this lesson, oh, we're going on. to use a line drawn on the windshield to indicate the crew's attitude. I've also added another dotted line to help you bank properly for left turns. Gently move the yoke to the left until the dotted line matches up with the horizon. Then maintain that bank. How's it going? gently toward the left when the dotted line matches up with the horizon keep it there uh, okay. right you put your plane in a dangerous situation yeah. gently move the yoke to the left until the dotted line matches up with the horizon then maintain that bank in a dangerous situation for the next step turning to the right let's see how you do on your own without any markings at the top of your attitude indicator there's a series of notches representing 10 degrees each as a general rule you always want to keep your turns under 30 degrees start banking right until you're lined up with the second notch to the right on the attitude indicator then maintain that 20 degree bank while remaining at the same altitude until i ask you to stop
plane in a dangerous situation. For the next step, turning to the right, let's see how you do on your own without any markings. At the top of your attitude indicator, there's a series of notches representing 10 degrees each. As a general rule, you always want to keep your turns under 30 degrees. Start banking right until you're lined up with the second notch to the right on the attitude indicator. Then maintain that 20 degree bank while remaining at the same altitude until I ask you to stop. Put your plane in a dangerous situation. For the next step, turning to the right, let's see how you do on your own without any markings. At the top of your attitude indicator, there's a series of notches representing 10 degrees each. As a general rule, you always want to keep your turns under 30 degrees. Start banking right until you're lined up with the second notch to the right on the attitude indicator. Then maintain that 20 degree bank while remaining at the same altitude until I ask you to stop. Keep working on it, you'll get better. Keep working to maintain a constant altitude during the turn. Level us back out now. Oh, really? That's okay. Anticipate when leveling off to not overshoot. Additional practice will help, don't worry. You put your plane in a dangerous situation. Level us back out now. Great. Additional practice will help, don't worry. Small corrections on the yoke will lead to more accurate turns. Can you guys, uh, can you guys hear me now? Okay. Ah, nice one. Nice one. Okay. Perfect. So, it wasn't too bad. I mean, at least I know now how to actually turn the damn thing. But we'll continue on with the training menu anyway. So let's try that takeoff and handling once more, shall we? Let's line up and get airborne. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All, all sound levels, all microphone levels, everything okay, yeah, guys? Just just need to get a thumbs up for that, because obviously if, if not, then I'll, uh, I'll try and sort it out. There's an old saying I like, a mile of road will take you a mile. <laughs> a mile of runway will take you yeah, anywhere. Brenham. I don't think Taking so. Taking off isn't hard. But there are a few key points to remember. Nice one. First, we always take off into the wind, which won't be an issue on a calm day like today. Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. Check to the right to see if a vehicle is on the runway, and to the left to make sure no other planes are approaching.
Check that the runway is clear. Yeah, well, I've just, I've just done that. There we go. Everything looks good, no cross traffic. Go ahead and taxi into position. Now slowly taxi onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane. Uh, if we go to sound. Yeah, I thought it might be. I thought it might be. Um, okay, let's... Let's turn all that down a bit. Let's turn her voice down, 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 down. I do apologize for this, guys. Just after the number 21. Right, how's that? <laughs> Let's position the plane for takeoff. Hopefully that's um that's okay for you guys. Let's position the plane for takeoff. Definitely. Not quite ready to go there yet. Let's get back in position it's, it's and try this again. It's controlling. Now slowly the, um, taxi onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. It's controlling the uh, the actual speed. But I will get there. I will get there. Say that old crank man. Ah, oh, see, what is it? Num decimal. Not quite ready okay. to go there yet. Let's get back in position and try this again. There. Now slowly taxi onto the runway and align the plane <laughs> with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. That venom, but you know. <laughs> right, let's get this sucker up. Steady does it. Well, I mean. Ready to go there yet? Let's get back in position and try this again. 
Wow. And now slowly the taxi onto case. the runway oh, and align the plane oh, with good. the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21. Let's position the plane for takeoff. I'm wondering whether it's that, um, whether it's actually, because it's, because it's obviously all on this side panel. Let's position the plane for takeoff. So, let's just get familiar with, uh, Actually turn the damn thing. Ah, oh, I'm pressing that button right now. Right. Okay. For some reason that is like so so silly the way they have that laid out Try and let's try this again. I'm not doing it the conventional way that they want me to, obviously, but. Would you look at that? All right, let's do this. Apply full power and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. Right. Oh, dear. I'm glad that's over with. Go full throttle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're a bit too far down the runway. <laughs> Let me move the plane back into position. Yeah. I should All have right, checked let's to do this. The Apply full power and I'll walk first. you through the takeoff as we go. Use your rudders to stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. Wait, you just told me to. We're a bit too far down the runway. Let me move the plane back into position. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Apply full power and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. Oh man, I keep pressing the wrong bloody keys. We're a bit too far down the runway. Let me move the plane back into position. We will All get right, there. All right, let's do this. We will get Apply full there. power Painful and I'll walk is. you through the takeoff as we go. We will get there. Use your rudders to stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. Gently pull back on the yoke. And we're airborne. A hey, presto. Apparently we're airborne. Line up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple of inches above the horizon. Let's, uh, That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. Straighten this out, shall we? Focus on flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. Maintain 75 knots, and 
We'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. Right, so pressing the key instead of holding it is the best thing to do. Okay, 5,500 feet. You've reached your target altitude. Good job. Hey. I mean, it wasn't too bad. I finally got there in the end. I finally learned how to stop the thing, you know, so it's always a bonus. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Well, based on what we've learned... Should we just should we just jump should we just jump straight into something? Should we just just you know why not? Let's just chuck ourselves into the deep end and just see what what happens. Well, where should we go? Mount Everest. I mean, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Um, why not? Let's do, let's do Egypt. This should be interesting. As easy as it must be using a, a controller, I really, really want to be able to use the keys. Like, I want to practice using the keys. My luck, Venom. I probably packed the cup three bottles. But I mean, I guess it's just. Uh, 
guess it's not too bad. I mean, I'm I'm not very good at these sorts of things, but I'm I'm very surprised by myself that I've managed to. Uh, oh yeah, spoke too soon. <laughs> well, what can I say? What can I say? Let's go back to main menu. I will practice a little bit more and I will will take it a little bit more seriously. But for now, I mean, there's not really much I can do besides, you know, just really see what this game, game has to offer. Airliner training? Oh my. Let's give that a go. me just looking at the uh looking at those controls there it's enough to make anybody's brain melt crash landed straight into the ground but no, this this should be fun. <laughs> oh boy. Perfect weather for a flight out of Nice Côte d'Azur, don't you think? Yeah, we're on runway 22 left and we're cleared for takeoff. Are you sure we're Taking off for in an A320 obviously requires more speed and a longer runway than a single engine prop plane. But luckily, we have some extra tools at our disposal to make the job a little easier once we're airborne. What's For starters, the auto thrust manages engine power to maintain a target airspeed. Autopilot will keep us on track with navigation. And the fly-by-wire system lets us maintain a consistent attitude without needing to make constant adjustments. When I give the word, you're going to execute a straight-out takeoff. After you complete the initial climb, I'll take the controls. But first, check the MCDU for our reference speeds. I already typed in today's numbers. Uh, okay. Oh, she's give us a The rotation speed, VR, is 131 knots. I'll call out when we reach it. Take a look at the PFD now. Then, once we hit VR, you just need to begin a gentle rotation by pulling back on the side stick. Don't exceed 10 degrees until you've lifted off. Next, let's review the thrust levers. Oh, goodness me. We need to be aware of three different detents. Use the climb detent, labeled CL on your throttle, to automatically manage the thrust for the remainder of the flight. Toga, to take off at full power on short runways or when performing a go-around. And for today, FLX MCT for a reduced thrust takeoff. We reduce thrust at takeoff to preserve our engine life and save fuel. Now let's monitor the Goodness engine parameters. Me, she ever shut up? Come on. As you can see on the engine warning and system display, I applied the parking brakes earlier. Did you? Okay, we're ready to go. Apply half forward side stick. Then move both thrust levers gently forward to 50% and one. What? Oh my goodness me. How, how they do this in the real world is absolutely beyond me, honestly. How do I know they're at 50%? Then move them oh, to the okay. flex detent. Okay. Well, it might help if I'm looking forward. Okay. Now the auto thrust is armed. Use the rudder to keep us on the center line. 80. Oh, no. That's the wrong one. Rotate. Oh, 
positive climb, gear up. Engage autopilot. Autopilot can either be engaged ah. five seconds or 100 feet after takeoff See? to manage heading and altitude. Autopilot. The FMA Makes is showing it, uh, lever climb, so <laughs> which means we've reached thrust reduction altitude. Adjust the thrust levers to climb detent. Now we're in the climb detent. Auto thrust is active and will manage airspeed by adjusting the power. At S speed, Retract flaps to zero. Disarm ground spoilers. Disarm wall. Oh my goodness, what was the button? Control. Oh no, it was shift, wasn't it? But there's room for improvement. Oh yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> oh my goodness me. How do the how do people in the real world actually do that? You know what I mean? Like with especially with like human life on board. Uh, it's crazy. It is crazy. I wouldn't like to become a pilot, that's for sure. But we did it. We did it. We got there, and and I'm I'm grateful that she stopped talking. I'm sorry, but I am. I quite like that plane, though. Now this is going to be the fun bit. Trying to land it. <laughs> You're telling me, Joseph. God. I think I'll stick to my buses and my trucks. <laughs> now nah, i got to give it its due. They've done a very, very good job with this. Very, very good job. You know, I, I, can, I can, you know, give credit where credit is due. You know, I mean, I know that probably the majority of the We're on course for a visual landing approach into Nice Cote anyway, d'Azur. No Auto thrust is going to handle power management, so our main objective is to control the pitch to stay on the glide slope. The beauty of fly-by-wire means you only need to use the stick when you want to make attitude adjustments. All right, as long as auto thrust is on, the speed will be automatically managed. Well. Throttles should stay in the climb detent. Just focus on the trajectory. Remember, fly-by-wire doesn't need a lot of corrective input. Just keep making small adjustments to pitch and roll as necessary. See the screw on the dash above the PFD? Use that as a guideline to keep us centered on the runway. For a visual approach, we have the track FPA mode activated. This will display the green velocity uh, vector on your attitude indicator. I want to go up. Place it three degrees below the horizon to follow a three degree glide slope. Over speed. One thousand. Over speed. Five hundred. Four. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. Six hundred. Twenty-five. Yep. Use that as a guideline to keep us centered on the runway. 
For a visual approach, we have the track FPA mode activated. This will display the green velocity vector on your attitude indicator. Place it three degrees below the horizon to follow a three degree glide slope. never been so concerned for the sake of the passengers on this plane. Now shift your focus down to the end of the runway. Listen for the computer calling out retard, then set thrust to idle. Oh yeah, good one. I think I've gained too much altitude, yeah. Oh boy. 400, 300, 200, Oh, I was so, so close as well. So, so close. You know, I mean, I think I'm just going to stick with the smaller planes for a minute. Because that is just... Uh, that is just too much. You know, the bigger planes are definitely a little bit more of an adjustment period. Maybe I should uh, focus on the smaller ones, uh, you know, before... Uh, before actually jumping in very far. But let's have a look at takeoff and landing. Let's see what other options there are. Let's try let's try landing this this small little plane. Yeah, I appreciate each and every one of you that's sticking around to watch me fail miserably. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the game, though. I mean, it is very intricate. You know, it's something that, you, you know, you're not going to master in, in the space of a day, you know. I mean, some people probably could, but for me... My first no instructor chance. used to say, the best part of flying is landing in one piece. <laughs> Today, you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. No, and I've already set us up in landing configuration. At 65 knots with 10 degrees of flaps and idle power. 
10 degrees of flash. Keep your aim point on the runway threshold. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. Nice if there was like an auto landing button. Yeah, it definitely adds to the um, reassurance part, doesn't it, Joseph? It's like, oh yeah, by the way, the whole point of flying is landing in one piece. Like, yeah. I mean, like I say, I tried my best. I think over a course of time, you know, I'll definitely get, get the hang of it. You know, it's just going to take a little bit more practice, I think, you know. But, I mean, overall, first impressions aren't too bad. They aren't too bad. The game offers a lot of lot of features, and it's something, like I said, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little bit of time. Like they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. And how they do this sort of thing in the real world is is absolutely beyond me. But it was nice having a first little look at it anyway. But I think I'm going to wrap up the stream for uh, for Microsoft Flight Sim. Um, I think I've kind of got a general gist of what to do. Um, and I really look forward to kind of just, you know, improving on um, improving on the flying skills and actually being able to to take off and land without you know taking out half the population <laughs> but like i said guys i really really appreciate you all coming in um hey i might even be back on a little bit later on with something else if if, if that's what you guys want to see i may even potentially play a little bit of gta 5 through 5m but yeah guys like i said i appreciate your support i appreciate you coming in but until next time, stay safe and I shall catch you in the next one.